This is a demonstration of problem 1022B, classifying and accounting for debt and equity investments. Captain Transfer Corporation generated excess cash and invested in securities as follows. On July 2, 2018, they purchased 4,200 shares of Naredin Inc. common stock at $13 per share. Captain Transfer plans to sell the stock within three months when the company will need the cash for normal operations. So the first part of this problem states to classify each of the investments made during 2018 and assume the equity investments represent less than 20% ownership of outstanding voting stock. So if we plan to keep the Naredin stock for a short period of time, three months, we do not have significant influence then we would just classify this as equity with no significant influence. And it would, not be it would not be accounted for using the equity method. The second part of this problem states to journalize the 2018 transactions. Explanations are not required. So for this first transaction, we need to determine the cost. We purchased 4,200 shares at $13 a share. So that gives us a cost for this investment of $54,600. So we'll debit equity investments for that amount and credit cash for $54,600. The next entry states on August 21st, we received a cash dividend of $0.40 cents per share on the Naredin stock investment. So again, we have 4,200 shares and we received a dividend of $0.40 cents per share. So we would debit cash for $1,680 and we would credit dividend revenue for that amount. Our next entry on September the 16th states that we sold the Naredin stock for $13.70 per share. So first we need to determine the proceeds from the sale. We sold all 4,200 shares at $13.70 per share. That gave us proceeds of $57,540. Now we need to determine if we have a gain or a loss on the sale of these shares. So we take the proceeds, $57,540, and we subtract the cost, which was $54,600, and we get a gain on the disposal of these shares of $2,940. And now we can record the entry. We will receive cash of $57,540. We will credit the equity investment account for the cost, $54,600. And we'll record a gain on the disposal of $2,940. On October 1st, the problem states that we purchased a purple bond for $40,000 at face value and Captain Transfer classified the investment as trading in short term. So we would just record this as a trading security, and it's a debt security. Now we need to record the purchase of the purple bond. So we're going to debit trading debt investments for $40,000, and we're going to credit cash for $40,000. It states on December 31st that we received a $600 interest payment from Purple. So we would need to record the receipt of this interest by debiting cash for $600 and crediting interest revenue for $600. Our next entry states that on December 31st, we adjusted the Purple bond to its market value of $44,000. So that we are holding this investment as a trading security. So at the balance sheet date, we need to record either an unrealized holding gain or loss on this security. So the fair market value is $44,000. We paid $40,000 for this security. So we need to record a unrealized holding gain of $4,000. So to do that, we're going to debit fair value adjustment trading for $4,000, and we're going to credit unrealized holding gains trading for $4,000. The third part or third requirement states to prepare T accounts for the investments and show how to report the investments on Captain Transfer's balance sheet at December 31, 2018. As I have been making the entries in Part 2, I have also had the T accounts updating as we purchase securities, 
as in the Naredin stock on July 2nd and then sold those securities on September the 16th. So our equity investment account balance is zero. The trading debt investments account was increased on October 1st for the purchase of the purple bonds. So it has a $40,000 balance at the balance sheet day. But remember, we also made the fair value adjustment to uh, record the $4,000 unrealized holding gain for these securities at December 31st. So the trading debt investments will be shown at fair market value on the balance sheet at December 31st, 2018, or $44,000. Part 4 asks, where is the unrealized holding gain or loss associated with the trading debt investment reported? That unrealized holding gain that's associated with the debt would be reported in the other income and expenses section of the income statement. And that is the conclusion of the demonstration for problem 1022B.